In this video, we're going to write the Euler-Lagrange equation in terms of the total derivative. Okay, so I've written the Euler-Lagrange out here. So partial f upon partial y minus d by dx partial f upon partial y derivative. Now, if we were going to write out the uh, this in terms of a total derivative, well, the only factor here that we're differentiating as terms of a total derivative is this partial f upon partial y derivative okay because it's getting differentiated with respect d by dx so if we were to write out a partial total partial derivative then let's say we had a function uh, the function g of x y and y derivative then using the chain rule we could differentiate this here with respect to x okay so that's the same as what we're doing up here we're differentiating some function with respect to x. Now in this example here, we've just used g, okay? So we'll multiply this out and see what that ends up as, okay? So if we if we differentiate this out, then we can see that we're going to differentiate um, the function g with respect to x. Now we're going to use the chain rule for both of these, so I'll just use the chain rule for this one as well. So that's times dx upon dx now you don't normally see that because that's just understood as going to be equal to one but i just put it in just for, for fullness here so it's going to have that plus we're going to differentiate the y sorry i've just replaced that we're going to dg okay that'll be dg by dy okay so g is a function of y but in turn y is a function of x, okay? So that's going to be our dy by dx plus the final term differentiating g with respect to the y derivative, okay? Times y derivative is a function of the our value x derivative. So we're going to have um, the y derivative upon dx derivative okay so if we were to then rewrite that out and we'll simplify it the dx dx cancels out so we're going to have our dg by dx plus dg by dy and this thing here which becomes y y dot okay it's just a derivative plus the last term dg by dy derivative times and this thing here is going to become our y double dot the second derivative okay so now we know how to generate the total derivative of a functional of this form here and it sits and it looks like that there now we want to find this here in terms of that total derivative okay so we're looking for the uh, d by dx of our function okay so that's d by dx of this function here okay so this function here in effect would be our, our g in this equation here okay so what we want to do then is we want to if i call that equation number two what we want to be able to do is we want to let our value g equal our value partial f upon partial y derivative okay and we want to really just take that there and we want to stick this here into what we have above there so we really just want to put all that i'll just say put into into two so we want to put all that that into two okay so we start off here and so our, our total derivative well um partial f upon partial y remains the same okay so we're going to have our partial f upon partial y from the euler lagrange identity minus now we'll open up the bracket okay and we'll stick the rest of the stuff inside the bracket now there's going to be three terms okay they're going to be this term this term and this term here okay so i'll just try and write them out so we're going to have d by dx over 
partial f upon partial y derivative okay plus d by dy over partial f upon partial y derivative times the y derivative section here y derivative plus the final one will going to be d by dy derivative y derivative of our partial f on partial y derivative all times y double derivative y double derivative okay so and all of that is going to equal equal value zero okay so we can rewrite that out and we can rewrite that as partial f upon partial y and it's going to be minus well that's going to be our partial squared f upon our partial x partial y derivative minus the second term there partial squared f upon partial y times partial y derivative all times y derivative minus partial squared f upon partial y derivative and it's times there's two of them so it's squared times y double dot equals zero okay so that there is the Euler Lagrange the full version of it written out in terms of uh, the total derivative and you'll see that written in uh, some of the books okay so that's all for this video just a quick um, uh, filler in for something that I think I had missed out okay so thank you for listening and goodbye